I really waited for the whole range to freaking leave so I could film this video. And I pretty much already went through my entire practice session, but I got some extra balls here, so I'm gonna make a YouTube video out of it. I want to start this series of range talks where I basically just go to the range and practice and you guys hear my thoughts. It's a good way to get two uploads a week on my channel. A little bit more like raw authentic stuff rather than the highly edited stuff that I've been doing. Period. I've really been working on my weight transfer and my takeaway. It's kind of what I've been working on the last three weeks. It's a swing thought that's working. So I'm actually gonna keep doing it. I mean, my weight transfer was pretty bad beforehand. Uh, Cause I took a big break off of golf after I graduated. Had a couple bad tournaments and kind of fell out of love with the game. Uh, and when I came back four months later, I felt instantly what I was doing wrong. It's weird how that works when you take so so much time off of it off of your swing you feel more things that you wouldn't have felt you know previously if you were practicing every day because those those bad habits can really be hidden if you're playing every day and practicing every day and when you take you know a long period of time off and you come back you actually start to feel those bad tendencies and so I, I really felt like I was swaying a lot instead of transferring my weight. And then my takeaway was like really, just really bad. So I, I'm working on getting more wide and width creates more speed. So I'm actually hitting the ball better and more crispy. Uh, distance was never a problem with me, but I'm actually picking up a few, few more yards, which is pretty cool. But that's what I'm working on. And had a pretty good range session, working on that whole thing. I'm just hitting the rest of these balls on camera so I have something to post. One thing you guys should never do is full swing a wedge. Full swing in your wedge is just stupid. You're less accurate. You can hit that same shot, just club up for the distance. Instead of trying to push this an extra 10 yards, just take your sand wedge, hit the same swing. You'll get the yards you want. I see all these people just hacking at these these wedges like full swing in it's just you're not gonna hit it good yeah I mean you're gonna blade it or chunk it or I mean these are precision clubs you shouldn't be swinging out of your shoes let's hit a high little spinner
Same thing with eight iron here. I'm working on the same same stuff. Like it applies to pretty much everything except for driver. But just working on my weight transfer, really, you know, getting this weight on the back foot and driving it through. And then just the takeaway, same thing. And it's really all you need. I, I always say, don't think about more than three things at once because once you do that, you're really just thinking too much. You're gonna start, you know, you, you gotta be relaxed and loose. The swing thought's supposed to help you not, you know, make you worse. That wasn't the best, but it'd totally be fine on the course, which golf is a game of misses. So as long as it's not, you know, duck hooking or hit a lot of those in the last week, but I also haven't been practicing. So this was good to get out here and iron some things out. Probably play on Friday take some money from some people in the cash games. I'm not in college anymore, so I can actually make some money betting people, which is nice. Made uh, 40 bucks about two weeks ago, which was pretty cool. I got some skins and some KPs. So honestly, transitioning out of college to, you know, I'm working on becoming the assistant pro at my local course. It's, it's very different transitioning from college to pro because first of all, you can earn money. Um, and you don't get free golf anymore. <laughs> I was used to getting free golf at four different courses all year round. And now I only get free golf at the course I work at until you know I go through the PGA program. But, it's kind of boring playing the same course over and over again. But I'm not going to pay any money to play anywhere because I'm trying to save money right now. That launched kind of weird. That felt weird. It wasn't bad, but hold it like 20 yards. Damn, I'm the only one here. Randy was all the way down that way too. I didn't even show you guys that. That was a shame. I will admit that, that was a shame. That was the S word. Do that about one to two times a week. Yeah, I actually uh, shot one of my best junior tournament rounds, you know, senior year of high school. With a shank in my warm up, I had one of the worst warm ups ever. There's a reason why they call it a warm up, not a practice session. What you do in your warm up is not going to necessarily determine what you shoot when you go out and play. I mean, Literally all you're trying to, to take some pressure off yourself, all you're trying to do is warm your body up. Just warm your body up. You're, like I just shanked that one and you know, I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna go up and hit the next shot. Like this. It's just like that on the course. How's it going? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. It's good to hear. Yeah. Just working on some things. You know when the lights shut off? Uh, no, 9.30. Okay. Thank you.
was good, but it was spinny. It didn't go very far. But it was straight. This one in the dark. I don't know if you guys can see it. Good too. Well, rain session got cut short because of the lights. I didn't even get to hit driver because so I was saving that for the end for you guys for the YouTube video. Um, but this will be the end of the first range talk. It's probably going to be short and simple, but. I'm going to start doing those once a week on top of my, you know, higher quality videos. Um, yeah, guys, stay tuned for those. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this online golf stuff happen. You guys can quote me on that. <laughs>